like, when, that, when I called 911, the ambulance. Hello, this is Dallas 911. How can I help you? Yes, I wanted to do a report on misconduct and uh, criminal activity by the police department. Each location I'm at, they, they repeatedly scheme to keep me from getting services. That puts my safety in jeopardy. I'm not safe. And law enforcement, police brutality, and other crimes repeatedly get unaddressed. They keep that guy was denied medical treatment over and over again for years. This isn't safe for me. I'm denied transit, law enforcement. All right, ma'am, where are you located at? I'm at Parkland Psychiatric Ward. I tried to get the substance abuse treatment. It was denied. I'm denied all shelter, law enforcement, all services, period. Transit, I had an assault, multiple, and I can't get law enforcement to combat it. Identity theft, kids robbed of my kids, and I can't get the police under control. I have to, I'm calling the police on the police department. I'm not safe if they're keeping me from medical treatment. That's criminal. How, how, how am I supposed to live in this country if I can't get medical, medical treatment or any other kind of services, period? Mail. But you're, you're in a facility right now. You're not getting any medical treatment? They discharge me. They're claiming that if someone wants services, that it has to be approved. Then someone claim, uh, covered for the police not investigating multiple different reports and an assault and said they were delusions and I was severely mentally ill. Then in their calm, they forgot that and discharged me. And then the videos won't upload of the criminal activity. But my devices are hacked. This is too much. I can't, I can't live like this. I can't. Where unless I'm trying now? to report police brutality right now. Where are you trying to, where are you going right now? You need a I'm calling the police because I can't get services on the police for repeatedly interrupting me. That's fine. That's right. So... I'm, call, I'm waiting on the police. The to, police are not going to give you a ride. No, nah, you can give me a bus pass, but I'm calling the police on you. I know, but if I give you a bus pass, you have to leave. You call the police on your own. Hey, they, they, each time I'm calling the police on them, they're, I'm monitoring my phone illegally, and they come interrupt. Honey, can I just talk to you? My name's Stacy. I'm one of the nurses, okay? I, I don't, where's the social worker? Can I sit with you? I'm calling the police on the police department. Because this is police brutality to keep interrupting me getting services year after year. Can I sit with you? I'm making an active call reporting crimes the police department keeps committing. Can I sit? What does it have to do? I'm on a live 911 call reporting police brutality. You guys wouldn't help and slandered me and cover for it. I honestly want to help. You're not a social worker. They keep making me leave, keeping me from social workers. I'm, on, I'm calling 911 on police brutality and criminal activity. I have a right to address crimes that can jeopardize my safety that the police keep committing year after year. Ma'am, go ahead and call somebody out. They're trying to deflect and distract because they're committing crimes that don't want to be held accountable. I'm actually going to sit over here and I want to understand how to help you. You're not a social worker? Well, no, but I work with a social worker. I have no place to go. I tried to get um, medicine for my pain and my stomach. I've been denied treatment for that. Police keep interrupting me speaking with social workers, doing this year after year with no accountability. It's police brutality. It's abuse. I can't live like this. This is criminal. So I'm reporting the repeated charges. They're a crime. I'm calling the police on that I need someone to do something regarding the misconduct and police brutality. Well, where am I going if they keep doing this? But that's what I want to understand because I haven't been back here today. So I'm uh, ma'am, I repeatedly keep telling you to send someone out. Why are you? Why does 911 always cover for crimes? Send someone out. I was reporting police brutality. I'm not safe by the police department removing me from getting medical treatment. That's dangerous. I've had stomach pains. I don't know what's going on, and they won't treat me. Period. It's been happening years, so. That's not safe. Instead, they're interrupting hotel stays, food. That is not safe for me. Covering for assaults, hit and runs. So I would, I would like to exercise. Are you discharged as of now? I'm calling the. I wanted to report police brutality right now, jeopardizing my safety and my livelihood, repeatedly over and over again. I need to know where you are. I meant that I told you I was at the psychiatric ward at Parkland. They're denying me mental health treatment and won't let me speak with a social worker. And when I called 911 on them, they're monitoring my phone and immediately came out, wanted to give me a bus pass and told me to leave. 
but interrupted me speaking to a social worker to flee abuse they're enlisted in, I'm trying to report that. that I, I don't stand a chance. This is police brutality and misconduct. If I cannot get medical or tell, uh, medical treatment in this country, that's dangerous. Right. What's your name, ma'am? It's Kiana Clark. Kiana Clark? Yes. What do you, where, where are you? I'm sitting in the bench. He's trying to get me to remove. They always, each time I call 911 on them, they want to remove me so they don't have accountability for their crimes. And then he degraded me in the middle of committing a crime. So this isn't safe. Yeah, I'd like to be able to report police brutality and misconduct, which jeopardizes my safety. Repeatedly unaddressed. Are you wearing Ma'am, just have someone come out. I'm trying this, there's, someone, there's too much going on. She's trying to talk to me yeah. here. You won't send people out. You're trying to distract me. Can you just send no, someone I out? I'm I, need, I need to know what you're wearing. I'm wearing a um, different color, a blue shirt and black pants. And outside Park, correct? Yes, at the psychiatric side by the police department. By the uh, police department. One sitting in the car right there. It won't enlarge. The army's full of police enforcing crime. I'm sorry? Are you black, white, or Hispanic? I'm black. Okay. I'll call her, you know? 5-7. Okay, ma'am, how are you wanting to help? I'm waiting on the police to take a report of police brutality and misconduct repeated that puts my, jeopardy, my life in jeopardy. Because if I can't get um, medical treatment because of police, that's dangerous for me. And it repeatedly keeps happening. I'm not safe. And then they claim that they're not monitoring my phone, but next time I call nine of these scammers to report their crimes, they come out and try to force me to leave so they don't have accountability. This is dangerous. All right, ma'am, we do have the police coming out to you, okay? Okay. So she come, the con was to distract me that she wanted to help. You want to help, ma'am? I do want to help. Okay, I don't have a so I don't have a place to go. I tried to get substance abuse treatment. They keep yes, they keep on interrupting me getting medical treatment year after year. I still have stomach pains. They would not examine it and see what's going on. He pressed on my stomach and then told me I didn't have ulcers by just pushing on it. Let me just make sure I understand because I know you were in the pods earlier and I know that you were seen by the doctors. Is it a bus pass that you need? Because I can do that. I can. No, it's I can't. I'm not getting medical treatment. If the only thing you're willing to give me is a bus pass, no, but I'm not being heard, that I'm not safe. If police are allowed to abuse power and put me out getting all kind of treatment and all kind of services at shelters everywhere I'm at, to cut my card off an amount, keep me away from kids, cover for assaults and all kind of different other things, this isn't safe. We understand where everybody is outside. I'm just trying to understand all the parts because I do want to help you. Okay, yeah. But we're not getting anywhere. How can you help? Well, how do I get in a safe environment? How do I get protection against police brutality interrupting me from getting services? Where do you live? If I, gave, if I got you a bus pass, where would you go? I'm, they're still covering for the police. I, I, I'll get, I, I were distracting. I, I, you can give me the bus pass if that's all you're willing to do, but I'm reporting police brutality right now, and you're interrupting it. Do you have family that you're going if, if I have family I can go with, do you think I'd be asking for a safe environment? Do you If I'm a government witness? Are you going to? I don't, where, how am I going to go there? Yeah, they keep doing this everywhere I'm at. Where do you live? When you are I don't, I'm homeless. Each home. time I have a place to stay, that's they come the remove me in corruption. I, okay. I, I did tell you a long time ago in the army full of other people, I'm in a domestic abuse crisis that involves the government and I can't, I don't have shelter. And they don't want me speaking with social workers. So a social worker has mandatory reporting. So they come that I have to speak with nurses and therapists. Have you been in a shelter before? The I'm reporting the crimes the police department's committing, ma'am. Are you getting me in a shelter? But you can do that if that is where you I can't like get in them. Do. But where do you, have you been in one? I can't get in them. The police keeps doing this at all my locations. Okay. Well, are you trying to distract time. me for reporting crimes? Okay, okay, are you getting me in a safe environment? I'm trying to because I want to understand Okay, okay. well let me report police misconduct first and then we can do that. That's more imperative. Okay. 
because wherever you get me, they're just going to keep committing the same crimes until they have accountability. So they, they, they're, she, they're being controlled by the police. So they have to get their con together on what they're going to do in the scheme. Because uh, it's bought off and paid for that I don't get help. So you have to con and do this because it's felonies. So you got to get your story straight. With this one right here, just because I want services. That's it. They think they'll never see these charges. Are you the one coming because I called law enforcement on this misconduct? They don't want to talk about it. It's being distracted. A best pass does not take away the fact that my safety is being endangered by the fact that I'm repeatedly denied access to a social worker, denied medical treatment, food, transit, my kids, friendships, church memberships, and an army full of other things in corruption. Deprived, defrauded out of funds, denied law enforcement, legal representation, and all kind of other services. So they have what they're actually trying to do is scam a way to not have accountability for these indeed criminal offenses. That does actually jeopardize my safety if law enforcement is keeping me even from me uh, medical treatment. I have a feminine problem I can't get treated for and the stomach pains. Yes, she didn't help. She lied and said she said said she didn't have a brochure, didn't do a safety plan and a whole bunch of other things she was supposed to do, and lied and said she only could do counseling for the trauma, but and then did not uh, any kind of uh, setup or process on how to get that started. So the shelter. But I'm right now. The yes. So you want me to do it all on my own? Okay, but I'm calling the police on the police department and small armies full of people scheming and keeping me homeless and in jeopardy and police brutality and felony charges. My concern right now is to keep me safe. Okay. You can if you're denying me assistance. How's that going to keep me safe? I don't want to be distracted, ma'am. Okay. I'm reporting the crimes that the police department is actively committing and we're deflecting on okay. you conning that you're giving me services that you know darn well I'm not getting. Well, you're saying that you said that you wanted to have give me services you have uh, uh, holding a bus pass dangling in that. But that bus pass and the shelter But uh, you're not helping. I can't get in shelters. They keep doing this everywhere. I'm reporting crimes. That you're distracting me for reporting police criminal activity. You're not doing anything. You're telling me to call the resources on my own. You're only distracting the accountability from the police department. The bus pass is to get you to the shelter. Right, but I'm giving getting accountability that you're actively interrupting and covering for crimes the police is currently committing in front of you. And there's mandatory reporting that you haven't done. I thought it was a misdemeanor. If you're witnessing police put me out and deprive me of services and won't let me get medical treatment, and I told you I need medical treatment and can't get it, that you're not doing your mandatory reporting. I thought that was a misdemeanor. And you guys seem to be doing more planning with each other instead of me. So the police is hacking my phone. So it's issues with the uploads. Two hours. That's the time. 6.23. They played all these games. And the con is, they're not, because it's a felony. You cannot scheme to keep someone from housing. So the con is, call these scammers uh, seven more years. No one on the planet, period, period, gives you shelter. You have to call year after year on this phone that's not hacked because it's a felony. The government can't do that in corruption. Hack someone's device and deny them of law enforcement. That's a charge. So give her her numbers that we know she's not going to get anywhere. And the con is that is the only way on this planet to use your hack device to get services that you have not gotten all these years is call on your phone. That is a red flag and clear-cut evidence that these armies full of people know my phone is hacked. Therefore, railroad me to call back these scammers to get nowhere. Blatantly lie about the procedure of getting shelter and help. All right, Ms. Clark, I got a bus pass for you. 
Okay. Sorry, you can take this and leave property. I would we'll call the police on you for police brutality. I am a police officer. So this gentleman right here. Okay. So am I being deprived of my rights to report crimes report, that the police department's committing yeah. that jeopardizes my safety? Hey, can I talk now? I, I'm just I asked the question and then what while I'm asking my question, question, you gaslit me and said, Can you talk now? What was your question again? I'm deprived of my right to report active crimes the police department is committing to jeopardize my safety. The police and Dallas police has already called us, told us that you called and you're harassing the police department now because our dispatchers called us and told us that you called Dallas police several times. So That's a blatant lie. I called one time, then I, I'm denied what, medical what, treatment, which jeopardizes my safety. So That's criminal. My, if I'm denied medical Clark. treatment years on these stomach pains, that is jeopardizing my safety. Clark, you've been discharged. Are you going to leave property? That's yes, all we need to know. Do you want to go ahead and take me to jail for getting services? Trying to get right. medical treatment because we has to be a common ground. You won't stop doing it, so just take me to jail for trying to get hospital treatment. Yeah, I got to. I'm trying. If you want to take me to jail for trying to get men, uh, medical treatment, go ahead and take me to jail. Discharge. I didn't get the treatment. So if you want to take me to jail, you forget. Me to go to another facility if you want to. I didn't get it here, and this keeps happening. I can't get it. This already happened if at you're Methodist. Not happy with the services here. There's always other hospitals. I, it happened at Methodist Richardson. Okay. You guys are the common denominator factor. That's why I call the police I on you. To take you to jail. I, I don't have any place to go. Just take me to jail. You said you, they gave you resources. To I can't get medical treatment. This isn't safe for take me to jail. And if they let me go to court, I'll just let them know that this repeatedly keeps happening. I go to jail for getting services. So take me to jail. Okay. I have no. Once again, are you arrested? Yeah, yes. You're going to be arrested for okay. trespass. Okay. Okay. And then I'll get a criminal trespass from the hospital? From, if you're not conducting hospital business, yes. I, don't, I can't get medical you treatment. Back. You can come back. Okay, then just arrest me because I can't get medical treatment and this you has can. to be an end. But, okay, stand up. Right. Okay, I'll leave. They are said. Stand up. I'm going. Are you leaving? Yes. Then leave right now. I don't know how many patterns he called the rest. Don't forget your, your charges. So I can call the police on you over there that's off property? Sure okay. You can call as many times as you like. That is your right. So they didn't dangle a bus pass, abusive dart that they're controlling. But they're supposed to give me an Uber and set me up for a location that they didn't do. Why the police supervise? Now you gotta go ahead and leave. Leave property now. This is the son, he's not playing with you. The, the FBI ain't playing either, this is criminal. Leave property. It's okay, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm telling you right now. This, and I'm leaving and you're bullying me, harassment and police brutality. I'm leaving right now. This is abusive and criminal. You see me moving my bag and you're still hassling me and you're still free doing this year after year. When are you going to get your charges? And depriving me of any ability and protection to get your reputed, repeated criminal activity and abuse living in the United States, when is something going to be done? I've had these pains years and cannot get treated. And you have taken my freedom 21 times, so you will actually do it. And assaulted me with no accountability. But when I'm trying to help you get your charges, because this is criminal, for you to repeatedly do this. I'm not safe if you guys are remain free. This is not safe. So my safety place was the Greyhound. When they did this and blacklisted me from all shelter and I would go charge my devices, use the Wi-Fi when they cut the data off. Now Greyhound will not let you in. It's controlled by security. They just hijack businesses year after year with no accountability. Now when I'm there, they change the whole protocol and now there's a guard guarding services at Greyhound. So I can't ch go charge my phones there. So they just drop off their cr criminal security to enforce my abuse. And it's so extreme, they have forced Greyhound to change their whole procedure to keep me in jeopardy. The Greyhound off commerce, all they would have to do is law enforcement. Car is waiting right there. To wait till I'm coming, uh, walking with my bags to come at me, but I'm recording. So they're coming really slow. 
get out of the police. Staking me out in corruption is criminal. Let's see if it's Dart or who it is. These are Dallas police. And there's a police right there. So that we're networking and working together for, to help cover for each other's crimes. Calling 911, the call's disabled on my phone again. It's not a joke. When I wasn't recording, my service would go off with day for days in emergencies. I would not, it did it again. This is what they've gotten away with years. My phone is illegally hacked and it wouldn't let me call 911 and it kept hanging up. And police won't do law enforcement to combat my hacked device. Are you there? I'm here. I called the police on police for misconduct and police brutality, which endangers my life. They cover for hit and runs, assault with a deadly weapon, other serious crimes that happened to me. I, that, that I'm not safe. With the so police where department. are you so I can send someone to you? Uh, Anderson MD Clinic by Anderson MD Clinic. We well, are on Parkland, Texas Oak, and Harry Hines. Right. So when they when they they're illegally monitoring my phone and immediately when I called 911 on them they came out and started threatening me and wanted me to leave and then add dangling a bus pass but won't let me speak with a social worker. What okay? What do you mean the social worker? What social worker? A social worker at Parkland Hospital for abuse and misconduct from the police department. I'm a witness and denied witness protection. If they're okay, so extreme, so we don't abuse determine. I know that, ma'am. We don't work with a hospital like that. We, we don't determine who's... I, I just don't think that I'm being heard, that police interrupted my medical treatment and I'm not safe. If police aren't put okay, under was control. Was it Dallas police or was it Parkland police? Parkland police, but I'm calling the police department on misconduct by the police that jeopardizes my safety. Okay, well then I need to transfer you over to Parkland PD so you can complain on that. Parkland PD won't help. They said Dallas was called out. And then they said Dallas had lied and said that I made multiple different calls and was denying me law enforcement because I made multiple calls reporting crimes the police department was committing. Okay, so what are, what are we needing right now? This I guess the FBI, ma'am, because this is a pattern that has a revolving door of conspiracy charges, federal charges, that are repeatedly unaddressed. So you deny me the right, as you guys have been doing years, in fact, covering for crimes, hanging up in my face, I being psychologically abusive. I only ask you abusive. a question. I'm not denying you anything. Well, I'm reporting crimes that jeopardize my safety the police department's committing. And an army okay, full of people keep Deanna? covering for it. Yes. Okay, so are you going to continue walking or you're going to wait for an officer? I, I, got told, I just told you I got put off. I want to talk to someone that can do something about police brutality, abusing their power, jeopardizing my safety year after year, and setting up, setting up people for harassment and other criminal activity. Do I'm not safe. Do you have reports regarding all, this, all these incidents? I'm sorry? Do you have police reports regarding they all these incidents? They won't do law enforcement. It's all recorded on my YouTube channel that they deny investigation for. I went to the FBI, was handcuffed, and then my criminal trespass given at the one in Waco, bullied in Tyler, and then Texarkana did a report and never called me back for invest after uh, uh, regarding investigation. But this is too much for one citizen to have to endure. How can I live in this country if I can't get medical treatment? Everywhere I go, they're putting me out in corruption. Okay, what kind so of life that, was that for me? Here? That's beyond the police department. We don't. We can't assist with that. We don't work with that. I just. I don't know why I have to have a phone where 911 and everywhere I call is covered for crimes year after year. We're not and I railroad in to call to on numbers on my phone. Issue. Then people we blatantly lie about, about services that. or important person, and then have me call year after okay, year on my health device. Do you have an emergency right now? I'm sorry. Do you have an emergency right now? I'm reporting police brutality and crimes committed on my phone, something happened forcing me to speak with scammers that have defrauded me out of funds and cover for crimes year after year. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, I need you to report an, an emergency. Yes, police brutality interrupted me from getting medical treatment for severe stomach no, pain. No, ma'am, no. Not for medical treatment. We can't do none of, nothing about that. That's beyond the police department. 
the police denied me getting uh, interrupted me getting medical Parkland treatment. Parkland police, and you don't want me it's to transfer to Parkland. They, all they do is cover for crimes. You're okay. asking you. This is how well, they do it. Have a good day. This is how they do it. And then railroad all the people back to, for me to call the scammers. Deny all because they don't want to be incriminated in person. They'll do it. They'll deny services, but it's easier for them if they just railroad me back to numbers to get denied to services.